Hi guys, Tim Gillette, Rocker Life Coach, uh, coming to you today with another video from the home office. Uh, last week was our Dallas Rockstar Life workshop. Great amount of people showed up. Um, only I think like it was only four or five seats that were left open. That people just didn't show up. I mean, it was a pretty full house. Uh, thanks for coming out for those who did. Um, to those who want to come out to the Vegas one, we've got the information up now on uh, our website, rockerlifecoach.com. Click the web workshop page and information's up there on the Vegas one. We'll be adding some stuff with our speakers that we've got featured and everything here in the next couple weeks. I wanted to come to you today because uh, I got a question asked to me. Again, I love asking, I love answering questions on the video. Was, uh, Tim, why do you always write so much about failure and screwing up? This whole week uh, is about screwing up success on a blog. And yeah, I talk about failure an awful lot. And I really love to make fun of the, the um, or, or let the video make fun of me, the Chris Farley, um, Matt Foley motivational speaker video. To just make fun of sometimes, you know, he made fun of the very fact that he demotivated to motivate. Um, I use stories about failure all the time because, not because I want you to fail. Number one, I talk about the three things in failure all the time, the three diseases of failure, and I am the biggest person, who, the biggest candidate of all three of them. Yet, I learned to build success out of my life. I have learned to become successful by going through failures. They say that most millionaires went bankrupt almost two, two and a half times, I forget what that is, but it's about, you just let's just say two times. So imagine that. Would you be willing to go bankrupt financially to become a millionaire? Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Many of the stories I, I, I tell are stories of people who have gone through the stuff and they kept the hope alive to go out and build past that failure. Tomorrow, our last day of the week of Screw Up to Success, I'm going to tell a story. A story of a man who had a dream to win something for 18 years in a row. Finally, on his 19th or 20th try, he finally succeeded. Could you say that he failed the previous 19 times? You could, but he didn't think so. He actually put success out there. And uh, this story is going to you know, explain a little bit about his life and how he learned everything he could about that, about his test that was there. When he finally won that victory on the 20th try, it was the biggest thing and more people had respect for him as the leader in his industry because of it. And I don't want to give away the story because I really want you to tune into the blog tomorrow. It's a great story of a great man who's no longer with us. But he led his field and he, till this day, is one of the most popular people in his industry. And he's no longer with us. He's been gone 10 years now. So if you want to learn about screwing up the success, check out tomorrow's. Number three is actually going to be the name of the blog. I encourage you that every time you fail, to learn from it. From the three things I tell you in, in my three diseases for failure. Procrastination. I put off for so long to start Rocker Life Coach and become a motivational speaker. I told my dad over 10 years ago I was going to do it. I never got serious about it until after he died. Perfection. Man, I work so hard to try to make sure everything is so perfect before I release it. Trust me, I battle this still to this day. I'm trying to make these videos perfect and I can't do them. Perfect. Why? Because I naturally have screw-ups that I have to learn through. Perfection is, you know, something that's going to keep you as a failure. The last one in those diseases is detailitis. Man, I detailed cars for 20 years of my life. Getting sure, making sure the details and the crumbs underneath the seat and all that stuff was all cleaned out. I became so focused on the little details that they kept me from being successful. And when I finally learned to let go of those details, I built a successful detail business. And I actually hired the people who can handle the details while I handled the big picture. Don't let any one of those diseases keep you down like they have me. I'm 45 years old. 
I didn't find out what I was supposed to do with my life until I was 40. And I screwed up doing everything I could to figure it out until I was 40 years of age. And then finally I got the picture. Don't wait that long. If you're 20 years old, go start making mistakes now. If you're 30 years old and you've made mistakes, make some more and just learn from the ones you did. Failure, yeah, I talk a lot about it. It's because I don't want you to remain there. I want you to become successful. I want you to learn to, as John Maxwell put it, fail yourself forward. I'm Tim Gillette, the Rocker Life Coach. It's time for you to go from where you're at to where you want to be in that rock star dream and learn the fact that you're going to screw up along the way. Have fun doing it. I'll see you later, man. I'm out.